Hi, welcome to the bike repair series where we pick random repairs from customers, show you what needs to be done and how to do it. So let's get our bike mechanic hat on and get started. Welcome to episode four. Today we're gonna to be working on the specialized hard rock and we're gonna be replacing the grip shifters. The tools you'll need for this job are Allen key set, an Allen key, now, depending on the bike, you may need a two or a two and a half plier cutters and an air nozzle for the grips. First things first is removing the grips. The best way to do that is with the air nozzle connected to your air compressor. Same thing, air nozzle, grip. Put it in the inside so the air can circulate. So we have the grip shifts on as well as the grips, but I also noticed that this is supposed to be a 21 speed, but this has a six speed in the back. So we're gonna be putting a seven speed back on here. But when you change the freewheel, you do, well, you should be changing the chain as well because they do wear together. So we're gonna be doing that as an extra bonus. All right, once we have the freewheel and the chain installed, now we just double check that the, the derailleur is set properly. So the derailleur has a H and a L, high and low. Right? The high is the smallest chain ring. The L is the big chain ring, right? All these are, are just stoppers to help it, keep it from going past a certain degree, right? So for right now, we're doing the high that's where we're starting off with so what we can do is you can push with your thumb with the derailleur to go up and then release it and if it doesn't go past the smallest chain ring we're good to go all right so we got lucky on this one so we're actually good for the each all right now we're going to be testing the low so we're going to go push this all the way up to go the L, it does go there, but I could tell that I just need just a little bit more. If you could see in the camera angle here, around here, we're just going to need a little bit more. To, so we're going to go to the L, which is your low gear, and then we're going to unscrew it so it allows it to go past a certain degree. So now you can push a little harder. And I'm pushing as hard as I can go, and it's not going past that. All right, let go. Give it a good test. And you're good to go. 
Okay, now we're going to be installing the cable. So with these housings, because this has a higher bar to it, this is just a little bit too short for my liking. So we're actually going to replace the housing as well, a little bit longer. All right, we're all finished. The next thing to do is just take it for a ride and test it out. The cables may stretch over time because they are new, so it may have to retighten. And I'll show you a quick tip on how to do that while you're riding. So once the screws are set on the derailleur, you'll never have to touch them again. But from here on out, it's all about cable tension. So this barrel adjuster here will tighten the cable. So what you do is just unscrew it and that tightens it. So if you're having trouble shifting to a different gear, to a lower gear especially, and it's not going right away, it's the cable tension's too loose. So basically all you do is just unscrew this, either one or two screws, and that should be enough for your gears to be back into play. So there you have it. If your bike was featured in today's episode, the first person to prove to me that you own this bike, I'll send you a $5 Amazon gift card. To do that, send us a private message to Instagram with a picture of yourself with the bike and possibly be on our social media. The instructions will be below. If you like this series in this video, please give us a like and a share and all the products that are used in this episode will be in the description. If you have any questions or if you wanna let me know what you think, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next episode. I can't help but feel good. I can't help but feel fine. Everything is in its place and everything is mine. I can't help but feel good. I can't help but feel fine. Everything is in its place and all of it is mine.